Hello, here's my follow-up video from the previous one. Um, so yeah, I'm in Fremont, Seattle. I've been in Seattle since Thursday night, and it's really lovely here. I really like Seattle. Don't worry, Safta, Ima, I'm not gonna move here. I called Ima yesterday and she was like, don't move to Seattle. And I was like, you were fine with me moving to Israel or London. You would love for me to leave Philadelphia. What's, uh, Seattle a little far for you, Ima? She said it's a little far for her. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I caught a, a, a lift from work to the airport on Thursday. My, we took off a little late. We took off closer to five instead of four. Got into Seattle, had, um, was really tired, you know, cause got in at seven, but felt like 10 for me. So didn't really eat any dinner. Um, like had a couple bites of Kenny's soup. Um, and he's got this charming little apartment, subletted apartment in the university district. It's tiny, it's two bedroom, it's new and shiny. Um, and that's nice. And um, let's see, what did I really do the last couple of days? On Thursday, I saw Jenna Rudnitskis and her fiance, boyfriend, um, Shane. And it was nice. I haven't seen her in like six or seven years. So that was pretty bad. She's having a life. Um, it was nice to catch up. I don't think I really feel the need to stay in touch with her or anything. It was nice remembering that we were close friends when we were younger. So that was cool. Um, and then I worked in a paper for the rest of the day. And then Friday night, um... We went out to, oh, this delicious Indian place, two blocks from Kenny's place. He hasn't, like, um, done much exploring of his neighborhood yet, but I think that'll change now that he's got a nicer place. Um, and then on Saturday, we had some fun adventures. We um, went to the EMP Museum, which is, like, Electronic Music Project. Nope, I'm probably making that up. I don't remember what it stands for. Uh, and I saw the Star Trek exhibit. Trek. And it was so cool. Like, it was mostly uh, items of nostalgia rather than like anything particularly groundbreaking. And so were the fantasy exhibit and the science fiction exhibit. They were mostly like, look at this thing from this movie and this thing from this movie. But I liked in the science fiction exhibit um, a display on like spaceship design and a display on robot design. And there was also this cool interactive thing that like linked commonalities of themes between different works of science fiction so i really dug that and also like the room was cool it looked like the inside of a cool spaceship um it was well designed and the fantasy exhibit was similarly cool it looked like you know a woodland castle or something and there was like brush scattered on the floor oh and all of them had like 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 jeffrey's tubes that you could like walk through like hidey holes to get you from one room to another to make it a little more fun for kids and what was really cool the curation of the fantasy exhibit was excellent they had 20, um, like, types of characters, you know, the rogue, the wise man, the unlikely hero, the iron woman, the damsel, etc., 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 and so they had the, um, like, these artifacts from fantasy movies, essentially, and then, like, had the card, they looked like beautiful tarot cards, of that character, so it was, like, Enigo Montoya's costume, and then the rogue card was next to that. There was like a helmet from Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and it was the warrior card. And Buttercup was the um, was the damsel, and there was the bow and arrow for Susan Pensieve's bow and arrow from the Narnia um, movies, and she was like the Iron Woman. It was like a very well, it was a very beautifully designed exhibit. And then we went to this wearable art exhibit that was stunning, like. It looked, you know, what we finally realized what it looked like, all of them were these, like, incredibly complex, gorgeous things that people were wearing. Uh, or not people, like, the, the dummies, and they were, like, um, a movie playing, because it's this, it's this, um, contest every year called World of Wearable Art. Wow. And it's all, like, this fantastical, I'll, uh, like, look up World of Wearable Art, and Wearable Art is one, um one word, and what we decided it looked like, there was, like, the garments one might wear to the opening ceremonies of the Olympics on an alternate earth, because they all looked like these gorgeous cultural ceremonial garments for cultures that absolutely don't exist, like, maybe even alien cultures, maybe, like, United Federation of Planet Olympics opening ceremonies. Oh my god, they were stunning. We're gonna show Rin. I can't wait to show Rin these clothes. Um... And, uh, so yeah, that was yesterday, and then yesterday night, we, um, oh, so I shaved Kenny's head and that was fine. You saw those pictures on, um, Twitter, probably. So, like, 
I made his undercut more severe. We gave him a fade and I shaved like racing stripes into the side of his head. It looks really nifty. Um, I'm pretty pleased. Um, and then went out to this delicious food place, this like hipster joint with yummy cocktails. Um, and then today we haven't done much. We just came to Fremont and saw the troll, which was cool. We had a really delicious brunch. We had a really pretty dog in this tea uh, shop. Her name was Juliet and she just hung out in the doorway of the tea shop and it was lovely. And uh, now I'm standing outside the uh, Fremont Public Library, Fremont Branch Public Library. Um, Fremont Branch of the Seattle Public Library is what it says. Um, Candy's inside poking around. I'm making a video for you and we're gonna walk to a lake and then walk back to UW District, University of Washington District where his apartment is. I'm gonna pack up my stuff. And um, we're gonna bust down to Capitol Hill which is pretty trendy. It's where I was on Friday doing my paper. And uh, go to the airport after that. Sadness. Like I'm loud bus. Very loud bus. I'm, you know, happy to go home to my roommates, but now it's another eight weeks until I'm not gonna see him. I'm trying not to dwell, you know, we still have a nice half a day together. But um, yeah, that's everything. I'll uh, talk to you soon, bye.